Okay, this is going to be an incredibly impromptu video. Um, I'm doing some feeding in the tarantula room, and I was just commenting to my wife, Billy, the other day. We're on a walk walking our dogs, and I was talking about some of my fossorial species, and I mentioned that my C. libidum, my cobalt blue, formerly H. libidum, um, I've had it in this enclosure for a year now, and I haven't seen it in a year. I know it's molting, um, although I don't see the molts because occasionally it'll close the top of its den up. Um, love this species. It was one of the, when I first really got heavy into tarantulas, it was one of the first blue spiders I had ever seen. And I'm like, oh, I need one of those. And then I did my homework and realized that uh, they would eat me alive. I wasn't ready for it. But then a year or so later, I, I ended up getting one and uh, had it as a sling, about a half inch sling. Um, it started it in a 32 ounce cup. These guys will burrow. They like deep moist substrate, so I gave it the big deep moist substrate, and it did. It burrowed all the way down to the bottom and did something that I thought was even cooler is built one of these little like funnels that web and dirt funnels to come up the top, so it almost made a mound for its entrance of its burrow. Um, I always keep water handy with them. Um, I have to clean this one's water bowl, but I'll have to wait a minute because she's a little bit upset right now. I do think it's a female. I got to double check, but it is showing the blues. So anyway, I came in tonight to do the uh, feeding, took hers out because she was on a schedule to get fed, and she was sitting right up on the surface. Now, this is the thing with fossorial species, and I know a lot of people don't like keeping them because the thing is, if you keep them correctly, you might rarely see them. But on those moments that you actually get a, catch a glimpse of one, it makes it so worthwhile. So I'm going to go and try to open this up. Hopefully it won't frighten her too much or at all. Let's so get a picture of her. And there she is, looking absolutely gorgeous. Again, I haven't seen the spider in a year. So yeah, just a, a wonderful surprise seeing her out. I think what happened is um, today, as I'm tripping over my words, again, I wasn't prepared for this. There's no notes. I'm just kind of going on the fly. Um, the temperatures here had 80 degrees today. So the temperatures in my tarantula room are about 76 degrees, 77. So everybody's out and about nice and warm. We get a little closer. Gorgeous, gorgeous tea. Um, she eats fantastically. Um, she's grown fairly fairly quick. I think I've had her, I want to say about two years. I'll check and put it in the comments section. Um, and she's molted quite regu regularly. That's a word I still can't pronounce, those L's and R's. Um, but like I said, she never drags her um, exoskeleton out. It always stays inside the den. And um, the only time I ever know she's in pre-molt is she'll web over the top of that. Let me see if I can just get a glimpse of the, make sure she's pointing the opposite direction. Me. Right there is the tunnel. I do keep the substrate very moist. It's a mix of peat, vermiculite, and topsoil. Um, she's dug all the way to the bottom, usually is all the way at the bottom. I don't even usually see her feet out. And again, I keep her well fed. She's been eating now red racers. The other day I dropped in, I think, four large red racers. Ate them up, no problem. Temperatures, again, in the summertime. Uh, the summertime is usually about 75 to every once in a while it hits 80, 82 tops in the room. And then wintertime, I do have a space heater. I do run the <clears throat> humidifier. And so with the space heater, it's usually about 72 to 75 degrees around there. And it's been pretty consistent all winter. So again, that's my C. Lividum, or Lividum, um, formerly H. Lividum, the cobalt blue. Beautiful spider. Um, again, they're known to be very, very feisty and nasty, and they do have a heck of a bite. Um, she's actually being quite reasonable sitting out in the open. She's not being feisty at all, which is great. Um, I'll be dropping some roaches in with her a minute, let her eat, put her back so she can be in peace. I'm sure she's not used to the light, but again, this is just a rare opportunity that I haven't, again, seen this one in a year, so I had to take advantage, grab the phone, and try to get some video of them, um, and this one will be going up pretty soon. All right.